Hello everyone. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. In this video we are going to do this crazy video editing trick. To do this crazy video editing, you don't need any green screen video. You can use video without green screen for this editing trick. For this crazy video editing trick I will be using Filmora 12. First open your Filmora video editor. For this crazy video editing, I have a video clip and a picture in the media. First I change the project layout to short video layout. The video I have in the media goes something like this. And the picture I have is something like this. I drag and drop the picture onto the timeline. If the picture needs to be cropped, crop it. I crop this picture in 9-16 ratio. After cropping, double click on the picture, go to the mask section and click on it. From here select the draw mask tool. Now I will select the filler beam area in the picture using the draw mask tool. But before that we need to zoom our preview screen to our liking. I start the selection from here and select the area above the filler beam something like this. So you can see that I selected this area of the picture using the draw mask tool. After doing this, I now drag and drop the video onto the timeline. I split the start part of this video here, because the masking we are going to do here will not fit in this part. And then, I delete that part. Double click on the video. Within the mask section, select the rectangle mask shape. Hide the picture of the track below. Now we want to make the mask as small as possible and we will animate it with the girls walk through keyframe animation. But before that I want to blur the mask. So for that adjust the blur strength according to your mask. I keep its blur strength around 15% here. To add a mask keyframe, click the keyframe button in front of the rectangle. And add a keyframe to the start of the video. Then I move the playhead a little further where the girl reaches the end of the mask. And here we are going to add another keyframe. Click the keyframe button in front of the rectangle and add an empty keyframe. Move the playhead forward again. And move the mask in this keyframe with the girl's walk like this. If you also need more keyframes, you can add them in the same way. and where the girl reaches the end of the mask. Here we place the playhead. And here we split this video. I delete this extra part of this video. You can see the preview of this mask, we made a mask like this.
Now you can show the picture of the track below. Set the duration of the picture according to the length of the video above. Then right click on that picture, and copy that picture. Add a new empty video track at the top. And paste the copied picture into that track. Double click on the picture of the track below. Go to the mask section. And turn off draw mask option from here. So after turning off the draw mask option, you can see that we have the mask of this picture deleted. After doing this, I hide the video of the above track. And also lock this track. Skip the middle track. And also lock the picture of the track below. Now I will adjust the video size and position of the middle track. And will place it above the beam of fillers in the picture. So for that, double click on the video. In the video tab, reduce the size of the video by scaling within the basic section. And then I set its position above the fillers key beam. We then applied the video on top of the fillers. But you can see that in this video we have video shaking which doesn't look right. So for that we will adjust its position through keyframe animation. And we'll end the shaking of this video. So for that, double click on this video. And add an empty keyframe at the start of the video. And in this keyframe I adjust the position of the girl's feet above the filler's beam. Move the playhead forward. And also in this keyframe I adjust the position of the video above the filler's beam. And in the same way I adjust the position of the video in the rest of the keyframes to eliminate shacking the position of the video. So I ended up shacking this video with a keyframe animation. Next, we'll match the video's background color with the picture's color. I will adjust the color saturation and vibrance. So for that, go to color tab and click on it. Here in the color tab, adjust vibrance and saturation to match the color of the video. So after doing all that, we were able to do some crazy video editing in Filmora 12. In which we did not use any green screen video. Hope you like today's video editing trick. Please like the video. It is very good for you to subscribe this channel. Because that's the only way you'll get great videos from this channel. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.